This video will help you to improve your squatting. Um, it is specifically for runners or anyone who struggles with squatting. We're going to work into the ankles, the Achilles heel and the calf muscle. Um, and this video stems from the other video called uh, Squatting for Beginners. So you can find that link for that video in the description box below. So that video and this video goes nicely together for squatting. Hi, I'm Al from yogagangia.co.za and this is a space for you to heal your body and mind with yoga. If you are new here, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and at the end of the video I always leave a tip of the day that might help you in your daily life. So don't forget to grab that as well. So before we start, we're going to talk a little bit about the calf muscle. I don't know who of you know, but in your side, your calf muscle, there is a pump um, that helps the blood flow back to your heart. Now, gravity pulls blood down, your heart pumps it, but at the extremities, you need something to help it come back up. So what happens is when you use your calf muscle, it squeezes the deep veins and inside the deep veins, there are valves. So it squeezes the blood back up but as soon as you stop using your calf muscle, the blood will go back down uh, because gravity constantly pulls it down. So inside the deep veins, as the muscles squeeze, there are valves. When the muscles squeeze, the valves open for the blood to flow back up. And as soon as the muscle relaxes, the valves close, stopping the blood from going back. And that is they're called the Venus valves. Um, Venus, not like the planet Venus, but Venus as in V-E-N-O-U-S. Okay, so what happens if you damage or injure your calf muscle and those valves don't function properly? Um, you will start getting problems in the lower area of your leg, the foot, the ankle, and so on. Now, what a lot of people experience is when they don't use their calf muscle for a very long time, like sitting on an aeroplane and flying very far, um, that the blood starts pooling at the legs, the ankle swell, the foot swell. And that can ex be extremely problematic for you and for your health. So the best thing is they always say you must get up and walk around in the aeroplane. But the same thing can happen while you're working in front of the laptop, sitting the whole day um, try and get up every half an hour if you can't do every half an hour try for every hour okay so it's very important to exercise your calf muscle and stretch it it's also very very important because if you don't have that natural flow of blood flow um, at the bottom of your leg you deprive that part of your leg of fresh oxygen and nutrients which the, obviously the blood carries and um, shoes. Um, shoes also restrict the blood flow, it's tight. Um, I would suggest if you do have children, try and let their feet be free um, for, for proper development. Uh, stay away from shoes as much as you can, even for yourself if you can. Okay, so now we're gonna start working into the ankles, the Achilles heel and the calf muscle and to help us improve our squatting. Okay, so we're gonna come up standing on our mats. So let's get ready. Come standing on your mat and we're gonna start with some balancing and rotating into the ankle. So we're coming on the left leg, spread the toes. Remember, your hip never pops out. You tighten your thigh, your buttocks, and your core and you bring your hip under your shoulder okay and on the inhalation get hold of your right knee and the left leg stays straight now while you're balancing on one leg you will feel your ankle which is now our left ankle is doing this all the time it's regulating your balance okay and while your ankle is doing this 
it's working, it's exercising. So if you want to strengthen your ankle, barefoot running, barefoot walking, or doing this is great. Now we're going to rotate into the right ankle five times in both directions. So inhale as the toes come up, exhale as the toes go down. That's one round, inhale up, exhale down. Follow your breathing. Two more. Very good. You feel the left ankle working. If it starts burning, it's working. And now the opposite direction. Inhale up, exhale as the toes go down. Rotating the right ankle. Up to five rounds. Two more. Keep your balance. Very good. Now, let go. Use your arms as balance. Knee up. Try to go on the left toes and down by keeping the leg straight. Two, three, four, and one more. Very good. Okay. Now you can hold it for longer if you are stronger or otherwise let the right leg down. Very good. Give your legs a shake and we're going to do the right side. Spread the right toes, hip under the shoulder, tighten abdominals, get hold of the left knee. Okay, find your balance. Find a spot in front of you to look at, a spot that's not moving, and look at that spot to help you with your balance. And also focusing on your breathing will help you a lot. And we're gonna rotate the left ankle now. Inhale, toes up, exhale down. Up to five rounds. Four, five. When you've completed your five rounds, we're going the other way. Inhale, toes up. Exhale, toes down. And one more. Very good. Okay, let go. Use your arms for balance. Tighten the core and try to Lift the, the right heel by keeping this leg straight and we're going on the tippy toes. If you can, five times or more. One, keep your balance. Two, three, four, five, very good. My right leg is obviously <laughs> not as strong as the left. And let go of the left leg. Ooh, and shake it out. Good. Now I want you to come to the back of your mat. We're going to stretch in the back of the legs and the calves and the Achilles heels. Bring your ankles under your shoulders. Inhale as you exhale, roll down. And start walking your hands when it reaches the mat forward. Not all the way. Keep the heels on the mat and straighten the legs and feel the stretch at the back of the legs. Inhale, walk the hands back, roll up. Exhale, down again. Walk. This is not a down dog. Inhale, walk back. We're just stretching in the back of the legs. And three more. Exhale down. Inhale. Up. Exhale down. Inhale. Up. 
down. Now don't go up, just from here walk a little bit more forward until you come to a comfortable down dog. In the beginning you can walk the dog here a bit. Remember, if you don't know what's down dog, I will leave a description in the description box down below. I would leave a link. Basically, your spine is straight, working the torso to the thighs, looking between the legs, and you work the heels down to the floor by straightening the legs and keep on pressing your chest towards the knees. Yeah, you will feel the stretch in the back of the legs. Inhale, start walking your feet forward towards your hands. When you come here, go down on the tippy toes and we're gonna place the right shins down on the floor and you come and sit on the right heel if this hurts you foot then you can try and sit on the outside of the right heel okay otherwise on the heel with the right buttocks the left foot is flat on the floor with the knee up now here you must experiment you bring your foot a little bit closer and we're going to lean into this left knee with the left shoulder. I hope not I'm squashing the mic, so excuse if there's noise. So you're going to come and you're going to bring your whole weight forward onto this left foot. Let the heel lift a bit and you will feel the stretch in the Achilles heel. If you don't feel it there, adjust your foot maybe a bit closer or a little bit further away until you and you lean into this leg with your whole weight. If you hold it here, you'll start feeling the stretch right in the Achilles heel and the lower part of the leg. Inhale up. If you, if you lean too much on the ball of the foot like this, you won't feel it because all the weight's here. So you must try and lower your heel a bit and see if that is better for you. Okay. Now we're going to change legs. So bring the right leg out and the left leg on the shin. Go sit on the foot or on the outside of the foot. Now you can't see. I will turn. The right foot again a little bit forward a little bit back until you find the optimum optimal stretching for your body because we are all different lean into the right knee with your whole weight on it and don't bring the heel too much up try and work it down to the floor if you have tight hips you might even feel it in your groin and hip area but we're focusing on this lower part of the heel. Lean into it. You can stay here as long as you want. Inhale, come up, and we're gonna go back on our tippy toes. Okay, and from here, we're gonna come into standing. Slowly come up, very good. 
So we're going to work into that area. We've just stretched a little bit more. So open your legs, comfortably wide a meter or a little bit more with the toes out. Now you must find the degree that your toes pointing out. You must find what's comfortable for you. And we're going to inhale and exhale. We're going to pivot at the hips, come down, hands on the floor. And we're going to go to the left. So you're going to bend the left knee and lift the right toes. And you're going to go on the right heel and you keep this leg straight. If this is how far you can go, it's fine. Try and keep this heel on the floor. Okay, because we're trying to stretch in here. You might also have a stretch in the right groin area and the inner thigh. So now you can use your hands because not everybody can do this. Use the floor to support you and come down and in, hail center and we're going to go the other side. So we're not holding it. We're just going from left to right. And it's okay if your heels lift. You're just loosening up. And one more. And come back to the center. And slowly inhale. And you draw yourself up with your inhalation. Very good. Walk your feet together. Now we're going to need some support so you're gonna to have to hold on to something whatever you've got tie a rope onto something hold on to a pole anything that can hold your weight and will not break so let me get the strap I attach like you've seen on the previous video I've attached it onto the burglar bars for squatting so we're gonna make use of that And we're going to do the same as what we just did. So you will be seeing me from the side, but you've saw what we just did. So open your, your feet. Again, toes out. And you're going to come down. And this time I want you to go all the way. Keep your back straight, but the right toes up. Heel down on the right side but make use of whatever you've got and work yourself forward and work this heel down and you'll feel the stretch on the back of this Achilles heel and hold on to your pole or whatever it is you've got and stay here. Side squat. So the left leg is bent, the right leg is straight and extended to the side. Inhale, come up and now you're going to go the other way. So if you need to adjust your body, do that and to the right and the left toes up. Try to keep the back straight and work the right heel to the floor. Adjust the angle of your foot if need be. And like I said, you don't have to go this low. If you're up here, it's fine as long as you feel the stretch, okay? Inhale, come up and release whatever you're holding on to. And we're going to stretch some more into the lower part. And this is quite an easier way of stretching there as you can use, a, I use a brick or you can use a block, anything. I've got a brick here. So you want something about this size, this height. I place a towel over it to protect my foot because it's quite, um, the edge is quite sharp. Now, 
you take your foot place the ball of the foot at the top of the brick or the piece of block wooden block that you've got and the heel down and from here and the back leg support you're gonna bend your right knee and bring try and bring it over your foot without lifting the heel okay so use your weight to press down and you will feel the stretch in the back this is extremely good for that pumping action that we talked about um, and to improve your squatting here you can hold it for a minute you can do this every morning and after you've hold it for a minute you release and go to the left side so ball of the foot the top heel at the bottom knee forward and the back foot helps you to push into it and stretch into the back of the leg. you can even use your strap if you want to get a stronger stretch to help you come more forward just keep the knee over the foot don't let the knee go left or well or out but most of the time the knee will want to come inwards and release let's put the brick aside and now I want you to come into warrior one warrior one left foot forward toes pointing forward and the back heel up and you bend and the arms are like this but from warrior one I just want you to take a little step forward so the distance between the two feet are a lot lot less and straighten both legs so from here you will maybe already start to feel the stretch at the back leg the calf and you work this knee forward but keep the heel at the back down so it's basically warrior one but a shorter distance and you keep work the back heel down to the floor and this knee forward and this is a wonderful stretch into behind the knee yeah and the calf inhale straighten this leg change legs shorter distance and keep now the left heel down and work the right knee forward and your pelvis is pointing forward inhale release and bring the legs together and of course squatting now you can make use um, of the strap holding on to something just watch the other video um, squatting for beginners and you will see all the tips I gave for squatting in there so today we're focusing on stretching here but of course when you do a squat you automatically do stretch into that area okay and you are here you can use this you don't have to use it and what is great about squatting is you work into the hips and the ankles but more on squatting into squatting for beginners and I hope that helped you to stretch into your Achilles heel the ankles and the calf muscle tip of the day now this one is for runners or even if you do fast walking as an exercise um, try and move away from shoes and run barefoot or walk barefoot 
Now you don't have to do it barefoot, you can if you want to, but there are minimalist shoes, which are barefoot shoes, um, that will give more freedom on your foot and it will strengthen your foot. Because when you use shoes with support, your feet get lazy and you don't develop all the muscles that your foot do have. So barefoot runners have stronger calf because they use their calf muscles more than the normal conventional uh, shoe runners. So uh, even walking around and if you can uh, walk barefoot in your garden, so to strengthen your ankles and your feet and your calf muscle, barefoot is key. And if you do decide to do this, uh, don't do it uh, quickly. <laughs> It takes a long time for your feet to adjust. It took my feet four months and they were very uh, tight and it hurt because I first started using the muscles in my foot for the first time in a long time. Uh, so the transition is slow and gradual. Uh, don't jump into it too fast if you do decide to do this. Um, if you're looking for minimalist shoes or, or um, barefoot shoes to run with, just Google it. There are many companies out there and you'll find it. I will leave some links to videos on barefoot running in the description box below uh, that are not my videos, but I'll share some uh, if you are interested to know a bit more on the science of barefoot running. Okay, um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope it's going to help you uh, improve your flexibility in your lower part of your leg. Um, this is something you unfortunately have to do quite often. It's not a one time stretch. It's a well, all stretching is a continuous stretching. Okay, and good luck to you all. And if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit the like button. And thank you so much for watching. Ariom Tatsat.